Coming up next, I'm going to do the first impression of a fragrance that's been here at Osme for a long time and I'm just smelling it for the first time. It's from Andrea Mack. It's called Cracked. Stay tuned. So welcome back everybody. This is Joel the Nose and I'm coming to you from Miami as usual. Hope everyone is doing well, staying safe again during these crazy times. I'm uh, going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, usually I focus on kind of newer fragrances that have come out recently. Recently I've done, you know, Greenlee uh, and a couple others that are, you know, newer fragrances that have just been released. Greenlee from uh, Parfums de Marley. Today I'm going to start a little bit different trend where I go and review some older fragrances. So on some that I'm just learning for the first time that I think a lot of people don't necessarily know about and I think they should and I think they're worth discovering. So today I am doing a quick review slash first impression of the Eau de Parfum from Andrea Mack. That is the house, Andrea Mack. And the fragrance is called Craft. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down a, uh, a picture here you can see the bottle. Uh, maybe you've seen them before. This is a niche fragrance house from, from France, but Andrea Mack is actually an artist, a visual artist from Iceland. I'm an artist myself. You may have noticed some of my paintings and stuff I have back here. I actually just made this shirt uh, last week for a tribute to Eddie Van Halen after his passing, who was hugely inspirational to me as a kid growing up in the 80s. So I made this shirt, which looks like his Frankenstrat guitar, my art. Anyways, um, so Andrea Mack is an artist, visual artist, and she created uh, this line. Now, this came out in 2010, so we're talking a 10-year-old fragrance now, and I was in Osme and talking to Maurice, and, you know, we're always, you know, kind of pitching ideas to each other, different things. Hey, have you tried this? Have you smelled this? And he's like, hey, you know, did you ever smell this? I mean, I had never smelled it all my time there, so I gave it a shot. Uh, I'm wearing it right now. I have it on uh, both my arms and on my neck. And I also have it on this strip from Osme right, right there. Um, so uh, again, Eau de Parfum 2010. And uh, the 50 milliliter bottle is about $135. So you can get in at a decent price point. The notes listed are aldehydes, LME, cold metal accord, an ice accord, cedar, patchouli, black pepper, and white pepper. Those are the notes listed. Now, uh, when I sprayed this, so I first smelled it on one of these strips. And now it's been drying down for a few hours. You're getting a lot of the LME, which to me has kind of a citrus component to it. Uh, I use LME in some of the fragrances I make when I'm creating my own as I'm trying to learn these notes. Uh, the first thing you get there when you smell this on your skin it's so much better on the skin as most fragrances are but this one really excels in the skin versus on paper is it smells to me like something new like something fresh like I don't, I don't know what to say almost like when you open up a new cardboard box and a packaging and you get that kind of whiff that smell that comes out it's, it's new it's fresh it's something uh, different um, I, in my nose, it doesn't necessarily come across as icy or metallic. A lot of people have reviewed it that way. It actually comes across to me as fresh and clean, almost shower-like. So I wouldn't say soapy, but I think this is one of those kind of clean shower-like fragrances. If you like that smell, to me on my skin, that's what I get. I love those type of smells, especially in a high-quality niche perfume like this. So I think that's awesome. Um, and the cedar. Uh, cedar is very prevalent in this. So right from the top, I get the cedar and it mixes well in with the patchouli, which gives it kind of like an incense or resinous type feel. Resinous uh, notes do exceptionally well on my skin. So I love those type of fragrances. So I had a feeling this one would, would do well on my skin. But the cedar, so what this reminds me of, have you ever been into one of those, you know, um, those sauna rooms, you know, a steam room where they have all the cedar wood that you sit on and they have like, actual cedar that's being heated up in that smell if you ever get down close that's what this smells like to me it kind of smells like not necessarily hot but it smells like that cedar smell mixed in with resin just beautiful elegant different so different from the typical fragrance out there that, that everyone seems to be copying doing a lot the same of so i think this is very unique um 
And again, I think it's something that's worth getting your nose on. It's created by an artist. I love that. I think it's different. It's fresh. It's a different take on things. Uh, I think it's very beautiful on the skin. And I've been wearing this all day, and I've already gotten plus uh, past the eight-hour mark of my skin, and it's still got a very beautiful uh, dry down. As the dry down goes down, you get more into the base, which is the cedar and patchouli. And um, but. Again, I forgot to mention you got that pepper in there, that black pepper and the white pepper gives it a little bit of a, a little bit of a kick, a little bit of a spice to it. So, anyways, that's my review of Craft by Andrea Mack. I'd love to know if any of you out there have tried this. If not, try to get your nose on it. I think you can order a sample, you know, from online somewhere. Like go to Osme, I'm sure you can get a sample there. Um, try it out. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, this is Joel the Nose, and I will be back soon with another video. Thanks, guys.